No artist should be trying to create a style. Mm. It should be, it should be something which should come out of the fluid, you know, that they shouldn't, to be trying to anchor your artwork to a certain style. I mean, you can have technique, yeah. I mean, I work in the science test method, which is a loose form of the science test method, which is where I've trained live at the Natalia, and which is like, um, which helps me see, helps me draw, um, which has a certain amount of accuracy to how I paint. But I wouldn't say that I'm trying to be like anybody else. I'll be inspired by it. I mean, what was it, Degas said, you should be taking elements from other artists, stealing bits of inspiration. I think we're like a, a amalgamation of all different things we see. I remember I used to get the Beano when I was a kid, and I would never read it. I would just flick through it, at like lightning pace, just looking at all the images. And I think that sort of sums up me. I just try to see as much as I can. I mean, Instagram is crap. You just, you can, uh, you can scroll and scroll and scroll and see so much things that get, you get excited about, that you can become inspired by, to the extent that which becomes kind of productive. You internalize it all. That's why advertising is so lucrative because just that small few seconds of advertising, that placement product will feed into your subconscious. All these pieces of artwork are inspired by my surroundings, involuntarily or voluntary. So when someone looks at all my paintings, I always like them to look at it longer than a few seconds. <laughs> Uh, but also be able to come back to it and find new things that interest them. I want someone to have an emotional reaction. Uh, that, whether that be anger or absolute elation, happiness, I, any strong emotion I would be pleased with.